What's up everyone, Saints fan back again with this week's episode of Fashion Friday. You guys, as always, submitted some really awesome outfits, so we're gonna hop in and check them out. If you have your own outfit you wanna submit, then all you have to do is go on Twitter and tweet a picture of it with maybe, you know, what you need to wear with the hashtag SaintsFF. Super simple, and honestly, if you want, you can go through that hashtag and check out all these outfits, you know, and check out some of the other ones that don't get in the videos now starting us off this first one we have from martin this one is called the desert operative and i really love this outfit because of the use of that bodyguard armor so what you're gonna need for this one you're gonna need the desert camo ear defenders beige outlaw goggles the fall tactical ski mask the tan desert scarf like i said that black heavy vest which is from the bodyguards i believe the fall cargo pants black tactical boots the fall tactical gloves and a black or tan parachute if you desire. As you can tell from these pictures, this looks really cool. I love the combination of the black with that tan. I think it, it blends really nicely and it's almost 50-50. It's not like one overpowers the other. So that is why it is the first outfit this week. Next one is another really cool one. It's an updated Spetsnaz outfit. So this was one of my favorite outfits, one of my favorite military outfits. And it basically was just, you know, the, the gas mask with like a black sort of military gear up top with the red fire cargo pants. This one is a little bit more updated. You can see it has the midnight beret, the black turtleneck sweater, the black bodyguard armor, the red joggers, the black tech boots, the black parachute, the gas mask, the ski glasses, the black desert scarf, and the black tactical gloves. All in all, I mean, like black and red go really well together. And if you like that sort of Spetsnaz style outfit with the gas mask, I mean, like, that's a that's a great outfit right there. The third one is another sort of military one from Sibs. This one is called the Elite Merc. Again, this one, you're going to need that bodyguard outfit. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's super simple to get that. Like, I don't think they patched it. Basically, all you have to do is become a bodyguard for your friend. And I think it's like you go into the yacht shower and he dismisses you or something while you're wearing the outfit and you you can get this outfit. It's super simple. Uh, if I can, I'll find a link to, to the, the glitch video I did on my channel showing how to do that. But if not, you can just search it up and you know, it's, it's like I said, fairly simple to do. But you can see this one's pretty much just an all black outfit. You have the black pants there, the black boots, obviously the black body armor up top. And then you have the, the really cool sort of headgear you have that black sort of beret, the new beret, the, the ski goggles there, and the the skull face mask or whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty cool. The fourth one we have is from Savage Gaming, and this one is called Aqua Camo. And it's not a military outfit. It's actually a sort of a street style camo. Uh, so this one you can see what you need is the Aqua Camo cap, the Aqua Camo bigness mask, the brown ski mask or this brown uh, ski goggles there the aqua sleeveless hoodie the aqua camo gloves the aqua camo pants and the black skater shoes and i think it's pretty cool i mean it, it's definitely a little bit different if you like to stand out obviously you know that's definitely an outfit you might want to pick this next one from ryan is is honestly one of my favorites just because i love how this came out so i don't know if you guys have seen the new spider-man movie spider-man homecoming but in the movie vulture is the enemy and or the bad guy you know and this this is almost like a hundred percent recreation of what he looks like in the movie i mean you know obviously in in the realm of gta and you're all gonna have to do a glitch with the the black flight helmet and the night vision goggles but that looks so cool i mean i love it i love the the leather fur jacket there the body armor the green pants like i i think that's definitely as close as you're gonna get and I'll, I'll go ahead and put up a picture of vulture on the screen in case you maybe are wondering what he looks like if you haven't seen the movie but I, I think it's it's an awesome outfit. It's super creative, and you know it also helps that the movie was really good and he was a really awesome villain. So that's why I really like that outfit. Next one from Keegan. This one is Simon Ghost Riley. Another take on Ghost. Here we have you can see the the gray leather hoodie, the khaki utility pants, the skull tactical ski mask with the Hawaiian snow black uh, goggles, I guess, and then you can see the the other stuff there. I mean it's a little bit different, but it's it's kind of cool. Here we have one from Snub. This one is somewhat similar to the desert outfits uh, I've done, you know, over the last few weeks. But this one is more of like a heavy tactical style outfit, I guess, because it has that bodyguard outfit on the top, the bodyguard top. So it, it does have a little bit of a heavier feel than some of the other ones. Here we have one that's a little unique, but it is going to require the, the Dawn Raid outfit glitch. So... If you like this outfit, you're gonna have to just do that glitch. I'm pretty sure it's fairly simple on the PS4 at least. All you have to do is go into the game mode, you switch the 
the action or like whatever your smile is, your mood, I believe, and then you you go you suspend GTA or you go to another another process and then you come back and it kicks you and you should have it in free roam. I believe that's how the glitch works. But yeah, you can see what you need to make it there. The the black upper part with obviously the purple on the legs and the face. And then here we have a few from Clutch It. These are some really cool ones, as always, from him. This first one is called Payday. I've seen a few of these outfits, obviously, in the past. These are some some of the what are some of the original outfits that people have submitted and you know maybe if you want an updated version you could definitely use these outfits right there you know especially if you are planning on playing some heist you could role play a little bit here we have one called the purple rocker again you're gonna need those purple dark or uh dawn raid pants so maybe you just glitch that outfit and save it so you have it on deck at all times but you can see he has the biker uh, upper there with the the bandana that's pretty cool and then the final one we have is called the vanilla wave as you can see this one just looks really really nice and if you want to have some class you know with your violence <laughs> i guess then that might be an outfit you want to pick now moving on into some female outfits this week here we have one called the cross racer or the x cross racer and actually i have no idea if this is female or not but you can see you need the the green that, that coat with the, the green sort of tights there with obviously the green beanie up on top. Next one is the new Americana. I know July 4th is a little past us now, but if you want to be a little patriotic, then you might want to choose that one. Here we have one called the Fire Oni, I guess. And I believe this one actually is a, is a male outfit, but it does require the orange Dawn Raid pants going with that crazy freaking orange mask there. These next two are from Famous. Here we have one called the Meow. You can see what you need to make it there on the right. And it's kind of a cool, you know, outfit. You got the black with the blue, you know, not a bad color scheme. And then the next one from him is the pinky RNG. So this one, instead of blue, is pink. It's black and pink. And again, another really cool looking outfit. These next two are from Emily. This one is called the Diva. Everything you're going to need, obviously, is up there at the top left. But just a simple, you know, sort of outfit for your female character. Here we have one from her called the Urban Assault. And again, you can see what you need to make it there on the left. And honestly, I kind of like this one because it, it is more of an urban style outfit. It's not a military one that I always see, you know, for your female character. Moving on here, we have one from Gemma. This one is the Cyberpunks. And this one is honestly one of my favorite. I guess it's actually a male and a female outfit. You can see this looks really, really cool. I, I especially love it on a female character there, like with the crazy hairstyle. Uh, apparently to get the sleeves like that with the shirt. You need to buy a dress that has those gloves and then you put on a shirt that can have them. So you go into your interaction menu and you put them on. For the male outfit though, you can see it's it's fairly straightforward as to what you need. And then this final one from Ash G is called black and gold. So this one's kind of cool. I like this one a lot because obviously black and gold, I really like the colors. You're going to need the black crop biker jacket with the gold shiny top, the black leather pants with the zippers and the accessories right there. The gold high tops, the gold aviators, the black fingerless gloves, the assault hoops, the gold bangles, and the gold iFruit link watch. So pretty awesome. And I guess sort of casual style, you know, female outfit. But that is it with this week's episode. Thank you all for watching and thank you all for submitting. As always, I appreciate the support. I appreciate, you know, you guys submitting these outfits. Like I said, if you have your own, you can just submit it on Twitter with the hashtag SaintsFF. But if you did enjoy and you did like the outfits, please drop the video like. Subscribe for these every single Friday. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.